Hello everyone! Today I have two Trash to Treasure farmhouse crafts for you. So stick around and see how I made them. Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by today. This is Junker Necker and my name is Leah. Today's video is part of a monthly challenge that's hosted by Casey from Coffee with My Sunshine. Casey's channel features much more than Trash to Treasure projects, so if you aren't familiar with her, go and check her out. Check the descriptions of this video for links to her channel and this Trash to Treasure playlist. So, on with the first project is how to make faux galvanized metal. All you really need for this is some cardboard, a brush, and some folk art brushed metal paint. I'm going to be using my pieces of faux galvanized metal in these cylinder vases from Dollar Tree. And I have two different heights. All you need to do is just peel the backing off the cardboard like so. And it doesn't always come off very easily. You'll see in a moment. To get my measurement, I just measured around the vase and it's about 11 inches, so I'm going to back it up to 10 and a half for the measurement that I need. And then on to peeling. Every once in a while you'll need to use the tip of your scissors to get it started again. But when it peels off in big chunks, it's so satisfying. Once you've got all that done, you'll have some little bits and pieces left behind, which really isn't a big problem, but I just went in and cut the larger pieces using my scissors, just running them down each side of that rib and snipping them away. Now I didn't want to fill the entire vase, I left some glass at the top, and here I'm just seeing if my measurements was right. Wouldn't that look cool, painted brown to look like sticks in there? That may be another project coming up. We shall see. Now I need to get the pieces painted. And going in with this brushed metal paint, I'm just using a sponge brush and dabbing it all over. I only used one coat because I like the look of a little bit of that cardboard showing through to give it sort of a rust look, per se. And those little divots look like places on the metal where nails have been hammered in and pulled out over and over over the years. The only thing I can tell you about this is you don't want the paint to pull up between those ribs or it will crack when you roll it, if that makes sense. So to put it in the vase, I just rolled it up and popped it in. And then you can add whatever florals you like. Another idea I had was to cut out this sort of rustic, rough cut heart and paint it to put on one of the vases. Wouldn't it be really cute to cut out a pig or cow or chicken shape with this? Hmm, ideas, ideas. Next on to project number two is the DIY cotton bowls. For this, I used some peat pots that I had on hand. My scissors, a foam brush, some melted chocolate paint from Apple Barrel, and a twig from the backyard, some cotton balls. Now I'm just cutting each side of that peat pot and then using the corners as ribs to a leaf form. cutting down on each side of those areas that I split and that's it then you're ready to add on the melted chocolate acrylic paint now, only one coat will do you this is very porous and you'll have some little spots show up once it dries but that's okay it gives it more of a natural look if it's too perfect it doesn't look natural now to put them together, I just put some hot glue around the hole, not in it, and pop some cotton balls in there. 
and bunched it together and held it till it was cooled. Just like so. And at this point, you could just pop them in a vase and use them like vase filler, loose. And I do that with some of them, but I'm also going to glue some on this stick, just a branch from the backyard. Now you can put hot glue in that hole because you're going to stick it onto the ends of the branches. Here you can see better what I'm doing. Just put some hot glue on that hole that was already there and stick it on the end of the branch. You can also put some of the cotton bowls on some empty spaces if you'd like. Just like that. Ah, one file off. Okay. Let's put it all together now. Now I've got my face filler in the bottom for the one that I put a candle in. And then I've got a bouquet of my cotton bowls on stems with some lavender. This is just a piece of leftover nautical rope I had. I pulled it apart, put one piece around the candle, one around the flower arrangement, tied them both into loose knots. And then I'm going to put that little faux galvanized heart that I made on the knot on one of those. Yeah, I think they turned out super cute. And there you go. There's the floral and cotton bowl arrangement in that vase with the little heart. And I just set it on a stack of books to raise it up a little higher. And then the candle popped down in the one with the loose cotton bowls as vase filler in the bottom. So yeah, that's my projects for today. Thanks again for stopping by and remember to check out the playlist.